From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutable faithful. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de On, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two of our fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died.
Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! <laughs> Come a long way. I've seen you before. It worked! By the tome, it worked! You're alive! Uh, well, uh, you died. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow, it worked. The well restored your soul to your body. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, he'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. Let me get this door. Right this way. Uh, you go first. <laughs> invention, the Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war, an end to death. See if you can find anything useful. Wait! Do you hear something?
just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it? Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us. are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Incredible! What are you?
we've completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them. <laughs> Protects quite like le leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy. Simple claw frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. This is where we part ways. Just make sure you get to Hughes. We can hold off the top. I suppose these might be able to help if the Tuatha realize what you. We can't risk you. Get just keep going. I'll see you on the outside. If fate wins. <sighs> Forgive me. You mark everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. If we only had the time. There's so much we might... Too much to explain right now. What's important is getting you out of here safely. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got... It's just that you... You're... Wait. Where Fascinating. Are you going? Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the Tawatha have reached the lab. That inside the... Oh. Ah. No, we've got to get you out of here now, quickly. Follow the path to the town of Gormont. Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs> <laughs>
You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Did he? Poor old foam. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls... He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You're the one. The cards this morning. Prepare yourself. of fate you just changed how the world was supposed to work how did you do that you just 
fate is the will of the gods. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threats, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper... You're nervous. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... I am, but still... I've never- This doesn't make sense. If this is true... And I'm not saying I believe it. Then your path is yours to determine. I can see the threads around you. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards. And so either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing. I've never had a reason to doubt my own... I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to... That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? <laughs> Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your- I don't care. Just look at the poor creature. She's been- It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. People simply stood by as she called for help. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't- Well, you're the only one. I'm going to suggest something a bit. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her pre- Hope you stay in town.
the mission hiding? Why are its gates forever closed? Welcome to St. Odwig, although one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ear. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls. Mitharu be pray. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of... Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. May Mitharu protect you. Enough of the oppression! Enough of the lies! Enough of the spiritual hoarding and claims of superiority! Mitharu does not judge. She loves. Insist that St. Odwig admit monks of all sexes and races into its ranks, or tell them to peddle their poison elsewhere. <laughs> Red Legion. Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmar and the Eternal? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait! 
Father Dim, they are named Finna and Arbos. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild. See you later. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. Local legend says that the great fame among them, the Selkie Vale. Goodbye now.
I'm all powerful, cave creatures will run from me in terror. Goodbye now. I'm all powerful, cave creatures will. I want to visit the garden. What about. Mortal races have. Yes, I'm quite sure. Not a doubt in my mind. It is called the Selkie Vale. Armin is a good name. Not as. Father Dimwell and the others are fools. They... You see, they can't obtain what they desire. Bye then. <laughs> <laughs>
May your hollow gods keep... Your face is new to me. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and... Yes, I witnessed this. The victim was Illuvia. However, it will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms... Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the... Farewell. <laughs> know if what the Fae say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not say forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. Oh, <laughs> my, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, he will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. ha, <laughs> ha.